everybody, it's Alex. I have my Salvation Army haul for today, Thursday. The I don't have my watch on anymore. I think it's the 20th. I don't know what day it is, but it's Thursday. Um, I have to get dinner made and I have to go to work. So I have to get all this crap off my counter. <laughs> so let's just do the haul video. So it's Salvation Army and then there's a couple of things from like another little thrift store like this guy says it says San Francisco train car um, from Japan I think it's a toothpick holder then this little, little cupy guy I think that's a toothpick holder as well so those are from like another thrift store I got these plates I don't know the pattern but I just was drawn to the plates I haven't like looked it up much yet so if you guys know, you can, you know, let me know down below. I got these little chalkware fish and they're in need of some cleaning. And there are a couple of chips on them, which is so sad. Um, I like to think that when these things kind of come to the thrift store, they're probably fine. And then I don't know if you've ever gone and donated at Salvation Army, but they have those just big bins that they chuck everything into. And then when they wheel it all out in their carts, it's just, they're just thrown on top of everything. So these probably come to the store okay and then end up all chippy and stuff. But some people will repair it. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really bother them much. So these little fishies came with it. They need to be cleaned. I don't know if they go because their eyelashes are different, but they're still cool. Little pieces of chalkware. There's that, and it's not like doesn't have a sticker or anything on the back. Um, this guy wasn't marked. I forget what she charged me. I think a dollar ninety nine, and then half off. Um, Glenn Edwards made it, I guess. It's pretty cool. And then I got this no drip gravy separator from Japan. I see some blue and yellow ones and stuff on Etsy and whatnot for like 20 something. I got this for two, so we'll see how that does. This was a totally different Salvation Army than I went to the other day and I got these uh, Gary Patterson plates. Um, so that makes me, like I asked the lady at the cash register if their stuff gets split up and she said it does. So seeing these plates there made me think that. Also, these like, green and yellow and blue like glasses that I got in my last video that I was asking you guys if you knew anything about a lot of some more of those cups showed up at a completely different Salvation Army so but since I couldn't find much out about them I didn't grab the rest so there's that plate I love his artwork that one and that one it's so funny I think I'm getting text messages. Um, I got some depression glass in pink. It's a dollar fifty. There wasn't any chips or anything. This one's just kind of dirty. This one was two bucks. And then there was one lonely candle holder. I held out to see if I could find the other one. And I have a black pair of these that when I research them. Everything comes up saying that they're Fenton, so I'm thinking because they look so like it's the exact same, except the other one's black glass, that these are possibly them as well. <laughs> and ooh, I got this red, it's like the diamond point on the bottom, little just little red dish. My son's teacher is texting me because he needed help with his homework. Then I got these. Fiesta glasses, so they were they're 49 cents. I only found the two, and like I said, I kind of hang out and see um, like if anybody puts anything back or if they bring anything out, and I didn't find the rest of them. I got this cat mug, not on purpose. It's because she overcharged me for an item, so she let me go grab a couple things, so that's one of the things I grabbed. This was from another little thrift store. This, if you can find this pattern, um, it's a Starburst pattern by New Oven X. These little loaf pans, these sell pretty well. 
Um, the ones that are like super duper duper clean that look like they were never used. I mean, these look like they were used. Sell a lot better, of course, but they do sell because people like that starter's pattern. What else? Let's see, we have this Fenton, Fenton, um, Lefton. She's from the 80s. She's the birthday girl for 14, for turning 14. And then this didn't have a name on it, but I liked its shape. A little planter. It didn't have anything on it. It was $1.50. I just liked its shape. It was kind of, I don't know, art deco -y. Then I got these. These are kind of beat up on the front, but they're little um, salt and pepper shakers from a gas station. And hold on. That was the company. Earl Sloats. S-O-S-R, I don't know. Something in New York, but I thought they were cool. I got this little girl. Well, it's probably marrying baby Jesus, but um, let's see. It's Korea. So a couple of times it looks like someone tried to sell it and I ended up getting it for 99 cents. <laughs> I found this guy, oh, actually this guy. It's actually an old bottle. A lot of the bottles you'll see out in the wild aren't older. And this one is, it's hand this blown. It has like hand blown. See, it's bent and for neck. whatever reason, I said it was and hand blown. And it's pretty low But it's here. not. It's clearly put and in a mold. It's got a little convex bottom going on there. And it says, on the top it says, um, private, hold on, what did it say? Private mold. And on, on the bottom... Oh, I think it says patent pen for private mold or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, that was 59 cents. That's for me to put in my case. And I got this guy. I know it was supposed to have a lid, and that's probably why someone put it back, but it's a whole sugar dish. That was $1.50, and I'll sell it just like that because a lot of people don't care or a lot of people maybe broke it or, or they'll buy like one of these that's like super duper chipped but the lid's okay and then they'll buy this one so that they can use that lid for this dish and that's just how that goes. Um, these will either go on eBay, I'll have to check, or in my booth, but they're Tommy Bahama um, salt and pepper shakers. I did really well. I got this cool mirror. It was $2.99 so I got it for $1.50. Then I got, this is a set she overcharged me on because it's, it's $7.99 for the whole set and then you do half off, um, but she tried to charge me for like the different pieces. So yeah, we fixed that. I have a credit and then I got to pick a couple of things and stuff. So that whole set there, they're not marked or anything like that. Then this is probably going to go in my booth. This little bear, it's from the 70s. Um, OMC, Japan, or was it Japan? Yeah, it was Japan. But I think it says, I think I can see in the ceramic, it says 1979, like right in there. I don't know. I have some birds from that company that I've sold, so. Then I got these for a quarter a piece. These things, this is filled with like maybe garter clips, but I loved the jar itself like the art on the jar and it says Florida land of sunshine so that was cool and then I got these because they were just filled with some cool like metal buttons to go through them for a quarter and then I got some vintage seam binding which a lot of the crafters like so I got that those are a quarter um, I got this set of I think it's serenade by Homer Loughlin, I think it was. They're from the 30s. Uh, I only found these. This guy was chipped right here on the handle, and he it, they wanted $6.99 for like all of it together, but because that was chipped, he did $4.99, and then he did half off. So that was pretty awesome. Then I got these two figurines. I've never like done these figurines before, so I don't know how they'll go. But I want to say it's Capo de Monte. Yeah, the little N right there. Um, this is, I think it says, yeah, Italian for February. And then this one 
is August. So they were $1.50. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Then I got this badass clock. Oh, sorry. I said a bad word. Sorry. Um, for half off. Really cool clock. See, it works. You see the plane moving. Really cool. Then this guy was chipped, which I was sad when I saw it when I got up to the counter, but he did it for less. He did it at $2.99. Um, that's not the chip. Hold on. Hold that right there. Bam. He did it at $2.99 and then half off. So, but this is Italian as well. Big old honking ashtray. This matches it, but the gold's kind of rubbing off on the top. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And then I got this three compartment tray it was half off it's also Italian I got gosh I'm running out of arms here this was 99 cents because it was half off I love that color blue and their Harker Harker wear yeah look at that it says it resists acid detergent and crazing look at the crazing can you see the crazing the sun's going away here. I should put this, move this over here. Because I'm running out of room. Okay. Oh, and then I found this giant green Pyrex bowl that I can't remember the actual name of, but they nickname it Fetus because this little thing right here looks like a baby fetus. I can't remember the name of it. It was half off, so it was $6. And then my son and the cats broke my swanky swig glasses that were out on my like porch area, but they were in the box. They knocked them down. Oh, and those are probably the ones that I have listed in my shop, so I'll have to take them down because now they are destroyed. I was like, oh my god, those are like 50 years old, 60 years old. Oh my gosh. So that's what broke. So, anyways, depressing. Um, I got some hand-carved, um, like, wood art. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah, I can. Who am I kidding? It was only a matter of time. This one. And then this one. And then I got this Stranger Things sweatshirt basket thing here. So that's all I got, guys. I have to make dinner and get ready for work now. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.